Shared headers and footers let you create a template that you can apply to many pages at once. By only editing one header and footer for each funnel, you can keep things consistent and save lots of time without having to duplicate elements across many different pages. Shared headers and footers are perfect for things like countdowns, discount alerts, menus, and more. So first of all, navigate to the funnel screen of the funnel where you want to add a shared header or footer. Then click header and footer in the left hand menu. The header and footer screen is where you can see which pages have the header or footer enabled, which need republishing, and what your header and footer look like at a glance. To add a master header or footer, hover over its preview image and click edit. This will open up a limited version of the page builder, which contains only your header or footer. You can add and edit elements just as you would in the page builder, only in a limited area. You cannot add forms or layers to headers and footers. When you're done editing, just click save. To add a header or footer to your pages, open up the page in the page editor. You can do this from the funnel screen as normal, or you can click the open editor button from the pages list in the header and footer screen. Then click page in the top toolbar. Click headers and footers in the left hand menu. and toggle whether you want to include a header, a footer, or both. Then click Done. Your header and or footer will appear on your page. Now you can see what it looks like, you might want to make some changes. Luckily, you can edit your header and footer from within the page builder. All you need to do is click inside the header or footer area. Here you can add elements, move things around, and change colours and fonts as usual. But remember, you cannot use layers or forms inside headers and footers. To change the height of the header or footer, just click and drag the handle. And when you're done, just click outside the header or footer area. Important, whenever you edit the header or footer, every page which already has it must be republished. You can see at a glance which pages need to be republished after every update from the header and footer screen.